I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am doing a general energy reading for my water signs for December 24th and the 25th and this will be for Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Um, as always, you know, this may or may, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. Um, thank you all who, has, who have subscribed to, to my channel. I really appreciate you so much. If you haven't subscribed, then go below and hit the subscribe button. Also hit the little bell that's next to it because that tells you if there's new videos that have come up. So I hope that you'll do that. I want to thank everyone who has commented. You know, I do try to um, reply to your comments. So I want to thank you for that. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. So now we're going to start with, and you know, I told you about Doreen Virtue, um, we're going to start with our Pisces for the 24th and the 25th. So Pisces, what's going on? What can we tell? What's the general energy for Pisces? What's the general energy for Pisces? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's the general energy for Pisces? Pisces, Pisces. Okay. Nothing's popping, so let's go ahead and do a split. Three cards. Oh, do you want to stay? Okay, you want it to stay. Okay. A card just wouldn't pick up for me, so I le I'm leaving that down. I'm keeping that down. Okay, so let's, let's see what this card is. All of them, you know, did, we have no reversed cards. So this first card is the Page of Earth. Scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. This is, um, this is a good card. This is a good card, Pisces. Good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So I'm feeling, you know, what's coming up is um, prep. You know, like how a, a chef does their prep work and to make the recipe. It's like, I feel like you've been doing, your, you know, you have been put into a position that you have been doing your prep work. And so this prep, you know, so you're going to hear, you know, all the stuff that you've been doing, don't stop, you know, don't stop. Because I know Pisces, we're like, you know, do what you got to do for this weekend so you can have a good weekend. I feel like this is bringing you that if you've done what you were supposed to have done and not procrastinated, this is bringing you for your Monday and Tuesday into a really good place. Okay. And I'm feeling like you might hear some things about money. Now the earth sign is an earth sign and that is your Virgo, your Capricorn and your Taurus. But I'm feeling, remember that you're a water sign and the earth soaks up that and helps to stabilize you in many ways. It, you know, in a lake, it surrounds you. So I'm really feeling that these will be two stable days. Okay, so let's see what this next card says. Ten of air, air sign, your Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now, recovering from an addiction. So again, you know, if you've done what I asked you to do for the weekend and you, you didn't procrastinate, you did it, these next two days are going to be like, you're going to feel relaxed. Whatever it is, if you're at work, it's, you're going to feel relaxed. If you're at, um, you know, home, you're going to feel relaxed. You're going to feel, and you're also going to feel, I'm feeling accomplished. You're going to feel accomplished. The word accomplished keeps coming to me. So Pisces, the, right now, now let's see what this last card says. The three of air, which is great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. And again, okay, so you have two air and you have the earth sign. And, you know, but the thing is with the, where this three of air is, you still need to recoup from where you've been at. And you're not, you know, I'm not going to tell you to go and, I mean, unless you really feel energetic, I'll never tell somebody not to do something that they feel they should do. But I'm feeling like you've done what you did over the weekend. You're in a better place. Monday and Tuesday is going to be great. And I'm feeling that you, the, the great sadness that could be there. You know, maybe you're going to reflect on something. Maybe you're going to think, wow, if I had done this earlier, if I'd done this months ago, maybe I wouldn't, you know, maybe I, maybe I would have been better in a better place months ago. No, everything is, the timing has been perfect for you. You know, whatever the lessons are that you've had to learn, you've learned them. So don't be melancholy about the past. You know, accept what you're doing, accept who you are, accept that this is the past and you can't do anything about that, okay? Because, you know, and the thing about the need to forgive yourself is I think it's more acceptance because I really think that if you can get past the, because you like to hold on, Pisces, you like to hold on to that past, 
let that past go because if you, you know, by doing that, and I'm not saying that you forget about it, and never talk about it again. I'm just saying let it go and enjoy the now for you because, you know, things, things are starting to, things continue to start to turn around for you. The only person that, um, you know, and that's these, these are for the two days. This is the energy that you have. You can have like a really solid where you feel grounded. And I think that's why it's the earth. It's because I really feel that Pisces and you haven't, I, I, you know, you've been getting to this point, but I haven't, you know, I haven't seen you this grounded in a while. Okay, so I put the cards back in and now we're going to go with our Scorpio. Scorpio, what's going on for our Scorpio for the 24th and 25th? What's the general energy? Scorpio, um, I asked my friend who's a Scorpio what's going on with you guys because every time I'm reading it's like so. And she goes, we're being, and she told me we're being very, she goes, she goes this is a time where, I, where we're very emotional and we want to kill everyone. So don't kill anyone, okay? But I was like, yeah, yeah, it's it is. It's been such an emotional time. So let's let's see for the 24th and 25th. What is going on? What is going okay, okay. Okay, you want to come? That's fine. Want any more? Any other cards? Okay, let's cut and let's cut and pull three up. I mean two up, because I already have the one that came up. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, first card that jumped out was the Knight of Air, and again, Air, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Now remember, with all of those, and it's in this, you know, you have your, you have your water bearer, you have your twins, and you have your balance, your justice. So let's see, Knight of Air is intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. Events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options creative solution. I'm thinking, I am thinking, Scorpio, that you're going to get unexpected news. Unexpected news is coming to me, and I'm not thinking that it's something that you're, it's something you should have been prepared for. It, you know, all the signs were out there, but I don't think you're quite prepared for it. You thought things might be a little different, but I'm thinking that it's going to be unexpected news, and it's going to be coming really quickly. Okay, let's see your second card. Five of Earth. Okay, the earth now, I'm, you know, earth is pentacles, pentacles, you know, in the traditional um, tarot, and pentacles is usually your money, so I'm thinking changes in money, let's see, well, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, un uncertain self-employment, now we've been telling, I've been talking to you about, you know, making sure you're doing your work, but I'm thinking that whatever this is that comes to, that comes, this unexpected, ner this unexpected news, I think it's going to kind of, it's going to shake you a little bit. And you're, I, I feel like a panic. And I don't want that. I don't want you to feel panicky. So let's see what this last card says. And it is reversed again. The dreamer. The dreamer. And this is an archangel. This is a, you know, a strong card. And it was reversed. So what's going to, a leap of faith. Follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities. So what's happening here now is, you're, you know, this unexpected news is going to come. It's going to it's going to kind of, you know, put you in a place where you're a little bit worried. It could put you in a, a place where you're a lot worried, but we're going to go with a little bit of worry. But the thing that happens is you've got to regroup. You've got to regroup yourself and say, well, what can I do with this? You know, maybe this isn't as bad as it could be. Maybe I need, you know, you know, Debbie's been saying to put my, you know, put the footwork in and to get, you know, to put, to focus. Maybe I need to just really think, what do I truly want? How can I, and why is this? How can I get better? And I'm thinking better. How can I get better? How can I heal? I'm feeling like you need to heal, Scorpios. And I don't think until you heal, you're going to be able to actually, you know, to, um, well, until you heal, I don't think you're going to be able to um, get your emotions um, under control and be able to, um, you know, go forward in a, in a good, positive way. I'm not going to say that you're going to be negative. I'm not that. But I really think these two days, you've got it. I mean, I've been talking to you about self-reflection. I've been telling you, you know, if you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. You know, all of these things, now's the time, you know, that you've got to, you know, you've got to face your reality, whatever your reality is. 
But the good news is, you know, and again, this is just for two days. You can come out of it with a better plan. You can start thinking, well, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? I, that's kind of what I'm getting. What do I need to do? Okay, Scorpios? So um, the dreamer is, you know, I mean, these two days are going to be kind of, are going to be kind of, um, I don't know, they're just, again, they're going to be emotional and you're going to be worried, but this dreamer tells me that it will come out, that you will be okay, but, you know, let's go put these back now and let's work on, or let's talk about our cancers. So, energies for cancer, general energy for cancer, general energy for cancer for the 24th and the Okay, we will let you come down. General energy, or come out. General, general energy for cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. I hope you can't hear my dogs, but somebody must be coming to the, do the door. Cancer, 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 cancer. Cancer, cancer. Okay, let's cut. Two cards out. Both of these are reversed, but let's go to this first one. This first one... Cancer, this is, you know, this is, this is you, the high priestess, and again, we have an archangel, the high priestess, and especially too, you know, we just had the, a full moon, which was the longest full moon in about eight years, and, you know, and it was in Cancer, so there will be some emotion, but I think that you're going to be getting blessings from that, I, you know, blessings from that full moon, and, and I think that's going to carry with you. Listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. I think, you know, I feel, you know, your intuition is going to be higher. Um, you're going to be more in sync with, with just, I think, feel like you're more in sync with the universe these next two days. And I, you know, I, I, I feel like it's like you're, you're, you know, the answers before they even, before the questions even come to you. Okay. Now this is reversed. Four of fire, fire energy, Leo, um, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So I'm feeling again that you, you know, you're, you're, you know, I, I, if I would, I would not have been. Well, this is the high priestess is, you know, is I would not, you know, if you, you know, it, it's like the empress. It's like you know the the. It's like you are feeling, actually, you are feeling good, and you are in a place of confidence, and you are in a place where you just, you're not afraid. I'm feeling like you're not afraid. Now, this is the last card, and again, it is reversed. Unity. Again, you have another um, archangel, another uh, major arcana. Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends i really feel that you you know i feel like for these next two days these two days are going to be you know i feel like they're going to be a good i mean they're just I, I can't tell you the peace that i'm getting i'm feeling so much peace coming from these next two days and i'm feeling that you know like a little bubbling brook type of peace you know i'm feeling good this is this is like you know Enjoy these two days. I can't tell you at this point what's going to happen after them, but enjoy these two days and just be in today, be in these moments because these to me are, it's like, you know, things are, things have come together and it's like they've come together for you. You know, you're getting that beautiful moon energy and it, you know, and, and, and water signs, yes, this is more the emotional, but that moon energy, and it's just like it's it's like it's like it's kissing you, okay? It's like it's saying you are blessed, you are beloved, you are. It's like for these two days, it is like it's kissing you, okay? So, I want to thank you all. Um, subscribe, subscribe, bell, comment. You know I love to talk to you, um, and I will you know be getting my January first through the sixteenth. I'm going to be working on those and getting those you know published. Um, but again, let me end with telling you, you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.